Good day everybody, my name is Osm Grunt and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to access old versions of Subnautica. Now in my most recent video you'll see that I accessed the version of Subnautica that I first ever played back from April 2015. So it's a long long time ago and you cannot just do that through Steam, you need to... You have to do it through this website and then do it through the Steam console and all that because it doesn't keep like an active kind of archive on Steam that you can just access and roll back to that date. So you have to do it through this, but you can still do it. So that's great. So what you want to do, you want to go to this website. I'll link it in the description. It's the Steam database. So you want to type in Subnautica because that's the game you want. And then you'll get Subnautica and it's this one, App ID 264710. Um, and then it will say all the prices and stuff. And then what you want to do is you want to go to depots, however you say it. Okay, and then you want to go to the one that says 264712 Subnautica Windows 32 specific. So you want to go to that, and then it will, it will say this file is out of date, but then you want to go to manifests, and it will take you to all of this, and this is all of the builds and their manifest IDs. So the one I got was the April 9th, 2015, which was 822 and all of those numbers. So you can roll back all the way to December 16th, 2014, which is the first ever build of Subnautica. And then obviously there's the more recent ones uh, a day ago, four months ago, or a year ago, all of those kind of stuff. So if you want those ones, then you, you can choose any one you like. It's really, really simple. Okay, so next, once you've found the build that you want, so for example, I'm going to have this one because it's the one I already have installed. I'm going to have this build, the April 9th, 2015th. So then what you want to go and do is you're going to need to enable the console on Steam. And it's a hidden feature. It's like not there when you just automatically uh, launch Steam. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So basically you have Steam on your desktop. You need to right click on Steam and go to properties. And then you'll see here it says target. Now you want to put a space. It will look just like this when, it, when you first look at it. It should just look like that. And then you want to put a space a dash and then console and if you have steam open and then you need to press apply and then okay so if you have steam open like I do at the moment then you're gonna want to go into your task manager and you're gonna go and want to shut down um, steam client uh, bootstrapper because even if you exit the windows of steam on your desktop even if you do that you can it will still be running in the background so it won't update it um, so you want to exit that and end the task on that and then you want to launch steam and you should see that in the top bar where it normally says games, community, and your name and all of that. So there it is, console. It just looks like this. It's nothing interesting. Okay, so basically you're going to want to paint, paste this in. I'm going to put it in the description. I actually got this off a website which tells you how to do all of this. So credit to that guy for supplying this. I'll put this in the description. So you just copy and paste it out of the description and put it into your console. Now, this is the bit that you need to uh, look out for because this might be where you get a bit confused. So, the app ID is the actual app ID of Subnautica. So, if you go back up here, it'll say app ID, and the app ID is what you want to put into your console. So, I'm going to put that there. 264710, that's the same all the time. And then the depot, the depot ID, and all of these, you need to get rid of these um, things. This is just to show you, once you've put all the numbers in, you can get rid of these. This is just to show you where you need to put each of the numbers. Uh, so the next one is Depot ID, uh, so we're going to go back into Depot, and then we're going to go, um, I think it's, yeah, it's this one, 264712, that's the Depot ID. If I'm saying that wrong, that's probably going to annoy so many of you, but I'm really sorry. Uh, so paste that in there. And then you're going to want the Target Manifest ID, and the Target Manifest ID is the, is the, the build you want. So, for example, me, I want this one, so just copy and paste the Manifest ID out of there paste it into this bit here, target manif manifest ID, so then get rid of all of that there, and then that's all you have to do, you don't have to worry about these ones here, these can uh, these can go away. When you do that, that should work, that should then start a download, now it's not going to be blatantly obvious that it's downloading, what you need to do is you need to just press enter while you've got that, and then it'll say downloading depot 264712, and that will now be downloading that build as like a separate folder kind of thing. So that could take anywhere up to three hours, four hours. It's it's really slow at downloading. And the way you can check whether you're downloading it or not is by going to your to the to your downloads, going to library and then downloads. And it will say that you're using some some speed, some internet speed, it will say you're using that. But it won't be very fast because it's from the Steam Archive. So it could take anywhere up to three or four hours, depending on what build you've chosen and how big that build is. 
So you just gotta wait, and the way you'll know when it's ready is it will be, um, it'll say d download, depot download complete. Okay, so what you need to do to check where it is, is you need to find the drive that you have Subnautica downloaded onto. So for me, it's my SSD, uh, but for you, it might be your C drive. My C drive is my SSD, uh, so that's why it's C. But you just need to make sure you're in the one that you have Subnautica downloaded in. Then you need to go to uh, Program Files times 86, Steam, and then you go to Steam Apps, and then you want to go to content, and then you want to go to this and this, and that is where it's downloading to, and it's this here, this uh, depot 26472, that's the, that's, uh, that's the thing that's downloading, so you just have to leave that, and that will eventually get more and more data in it, and eventually you will actually get a complete folder. Okay, so once you've got it downloaded into this place here, then you're going to want to drag this folder here, depot 26472, onto your desktop, and that's what I've done here. So you just need to do that, open it up, and then you'll get this and it will have the shortcut and everything. You don't need to change anything to do with this, just leave it all as it is. And then, when you launch the game, just by double clicking on that, it will come up with the old launch thing. So you want to click play. Um, and this won't launch it through Steam, it's nothing to do with Steam, so you can't shift tab or anything like that. Um, and then you have all of this, it's a new game and it's the, it's the full game, but I do believe you do need Subnautica to actually do this, so it's not a free, it's not, it's not a way of getting it for free, because uh, that would not make sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, um, there's not a lot more to it, if you want to get rid of that and you don't ever want to do that again, you can just delete it like I have, um, but yeah, it's, it's really not that difficult once you understand how to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave all the instructions in basic form down in the description below, so in case that was really, really badly described, which I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, hopefully this goes well for you. If it did work, then please tell me in the comments below, because uh, that would be really useful. And um, yeah, give it a like if it helped you. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, so if you did enjoy the video please give it a like if you're feeling really generous. Subscribe to Crunchy Zib. Until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Draw, my friends.